I need you to be looking up here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you've learned so far is I want to show you what to do. Remember, I think it's been very um, careful. I told you guys whenever we're doing elimination, we had to have the same variable with the same coefficients, right? So what happens if we still want to use elimination, but we don't have the same coefficients? Because look up here. You might, you guys might look at it and say, are you going to add or are you going to subtract? Are you going to use elimination of adding or elimination of subtraction? Well, it's going to kind of depend on which variable will have the same coefficient. Now, do my x's have the same coefficients? Yes. No. No, one has a 1 and one has a 5, right? But their signs are the same. Yeah. But do the, my y's have the same variable as a coefficient? Or, I'm sorry, as the same coefficient for their variable? No. No. So what I have is I have a problem. I cannot use elimination when I do not have the same number in front. <laughs> So what number, if I wanted to eliminate the x's by using div, uh, subtraction, if I have 5 in front of this one, what would I have to get in front of this x for it to be the same? 5. five. five. So how can, I, how can I get a 5 in front of there? Does anybody know? Well, let's look at it. If I have an x and you add 5, does that equal 5x? Yeah. yeah. No. Three, no. 6x. Oh, all right. We don't call stupid. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, remember, x plus 5. What? x plus 5, those are not like terms. x plus 5 is still going to equal x plus 5. Okay? Those are not equal to each other. However, Markwell, when I do 5 times x, that simply just equals 5x. Okay, so a big mistake is a lot of students say, oh, I'll just add 5. No, adding 5 does not make it 5x. However, I can multiply by 5. All right, and what do we do? Remember when we were solving equations? If I did something on one side of the equation, I had to do it to the other side, the other side of the equation, right? Yep. Or a lot of times, you just have to make sure you do, if you're multiplying by 5, you got to make sure you multiply everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything times 5. Therefore, now I get 5x plus 5y equals a negative 45. Does everybody see what I did there? That, when I multiply by 5, now produces this equation. Then I'll have this, 5x minus 2y equals 32. Okay? You really need to be writing this down because this is going to be something you're going to be able to follow. So, when you guys look at this, now I can use my elimination. Because now I have coefficients that are exactly the same for the same variable. I subtract 5x minus 5x is 0x. 5y minus negative 2y, double negative, is going to give me positive 7y. That eliminates, right? Then I have a negative 45 minus a negative 32, which would be a negative um, minus 32 is going to be a negative 77. So therefore, I have 7y equals a negative 77. Divide by 7, y equals a negative 11. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Wait, now I found the value of y. I just need to go back and now find the value of x. So I plug in a negative 11 in for one of these x's. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, and you don't even need to plug it into this one when it's been multiplied by 5. You can go back to your original equation, x plus y equals negative, or equals negative 9. So go back to one of your original equations, plug negative 11 in for y. Actually, I'll write that like this. x plus negative 11, which is really x minus 11 equals negative 9. Add 11, x equals positive 2. And therefore, you found the solution. Why did you use adding? Why did I do what? Why didn't I just add it? What do you mean? 